Good morning, everybody. Stetson with that Sonka here, guys. Today is Friday, and we got a kind of a big surprise for you guys. Nobody was really expecting this. So, guys, today is a little bit of a different video. So, we've got a little surprise for you guys. Toro sent us over a mower, and I'm gonna leave it a surprise for you guys. Um, and we're gonna show you when we get to my dealer, of course. But they sent us over a mower um, to try out and to use and keep. Um, so, that's what we're gonna go be picking up at my dealer, Metro Turf Outdoor Power Equipment. If you guys have any any outdoor power equipment needs you guys need to head there metro turf and uh, norman oklahoma they take care of me they always have for the past 10 years and can't recommend them enough guys so without further ado let's head over there and uh let's go see this mower all right guys so we're at metro turf and check it out here is the mower that toro sent me it is a 36 inch grandstand with the uh, kawasaki fs 541 i never use the fs i always use the fx so i'm excited to try it out but uh, i'm real excited toros have really good cut quality and so i'm real excited to put this thing to use and get it going so like i said guys we're at metro turf come out here if you need anything they will take care of you because they've been taking care of me for 10 years you guys just saw we're leaving metro turf now i'm going to load it up on the trailer go ahead and uh, get it recording for that so let's load it up and then we're gonna head back to the shop. So we'll see you guys there. All right, so we're back at the shop and um, I went over the mower a little bit at Metro Turf, but it was right by the highway. So it's kind of loud. Figured come back to the shop, way quieter, almost too quiet here <laughs> but check it out guys here is the beautiful mower that toro sent over so this is a 36 inch grandstand it's got the kawasaki fs like i've said um i like this i like their hydro setup this is the hydraulic fluid and then here's the hydro filter look how uh, easy that is to change i mean it's right there and then it's pretty neat because back here the platform folds up so gives you more space on your trailer, which is really neat. Yeah, man, check that out. Huge, huge uh, shout out to Toro for sending this over. And I'm excited to put this 36 to the test against this one, of course. So we've had this right for five years now, and I love this thing. No complaints about it. It's never let me down. Of course, we still have the Titan Max, and then we've had this right for about four or five years as well. I'm excited to get back into uh, weekly mowing. And then once we get back into weekly mowing, we could be using this Toro daily. I've heard that, that Toro, this Toro has a better cut quality than the right does. So we'll have to see about that because of the way the deck's made. It cuts, cause down in here in Oklahoma, we have Bermuda and Bermuda grass is very fine. Um, so, you know, a lot of mowers don't do good cutting it. The rights do okay. Um, they definitely, there's room for improvement. So I'm excited to use this Toro because evidently Toro cuts Bermuda grass the best. So I just want to address that before all the haters come in here and say, oh, Stat, you're a sellout. You're just getting free equipment, this, that. You don't deserve that. Um, I highly disagree because, guys, I, I want a lot of you to understand that it took four years of I've been on YouTube for like seven years now. It took four years on YouTube for me to even start getting recognized by anybody. And that's four years of almost daily videos of grinding out the YouTube videos all the time, not getting paid a single dollar, guys. YouTube's a lot of work, especially when you're going home after a hard day of work. You know, you're working 10, 12 hour days in the 110 degree temperature. You're going home and then you're editing a video for another two, three hours. Um, guys, it adds up quick, it gets stressful, it gets, gets old, you get burnt out. And um, you know, it took a lot of me to not quit. I wanted to quit completely, multiple, multiple times. I didn't, I pushed through and definitely guys, it's paid off because as a lot of you know that we do have a, I've had a contract with Toro, we've got a deal with him for the last couple years now and we're working on a new deal for 2023 and this mower is a uh, part of that deal. So I, I just want to be transparent with you guys. Um, they gave this to us to keep and to use and to test out and they want us to make videos on it, give them feedback and all this stuff. So that's exactly what we're going to do. In my opinion, you know, I've earned this. I've put in the blood, sweat and tears, the hard work. Um, it's not easy being a YouTuber and like I said, you gotta be on the grind. And so, you know, stuff that I did for four years is just now starting to pay off. So, you know, you reap what you sow. I'm definitely reaping what I've been sowing for the past seven years on YouTube, uh, really. But I just, grateful, obviously guys, 
all glory to the big man upstairs. I would be nowhere without him. He's definitely helped me through some tough times. And, uh, and it just so happens that this weekend is Easter weekend. So um, hopefully you guys all have a blessed Easter. And he has risen, guys. So yeah, with that being said, I'm sure I'll still get some hate comments, but I just wanted to address it that uh, I'm not a sellout. Clearly, if if you guys worked hard for four years on YouTube, not getting a single uh, thing out of it, if a big brand like Toro reached out to you, of course you guys are gonna say yes. Who wouldn't? Who doesn't wanna get equipment and stuff like that? Um, so I don't wanna hear anything. So yeah, that is the big surprise. The 36 inch Toro grandstand. And I guess I should go over a couple things. I mean, I think I did for the most part. Need to get a grass flap, of course, because I run grass flaps on uh, all my mowers. And so I gotta get a grass flap for this, which shouldn't be too bad. I noticed there's like different cutting. See how there's an A, B, C right there? There's like different cutting heights, I think. So I wonder if what it's for. I'm sure that the lowest one is Bermuda and it's on C right now because we're cutting Bermuda down here in Oklahoma. Uh, but yeah, everything else, guys, pretty self-explanatory. Really neat. I guess I'd need to be due an oil change at 10 hours, but right now we are literally at zero hours. I mean, this thing has barely been turned on <laughs> to uh, get put. The only time it got turned on was to move it out of the shop, out of Metro Turf shop, and then to put it on my trailer. So I'm real excited to get this thing put to use. Um, I'm not gonna use it till I do get a grass flat because I don't like blowing grass and flower beds and towards windows and houses. So I'll order a grass flat probably today. And grass flop ships stuff really quick, so I'm sure I'll have it by Monday. But anyway, hopefully you guys all enjoy this video, this little surprise for you guys. You guys, I'm taking you along for the ride, obviously, to use this mower. Maybe I can do like a POV, like put you guys on my chest while I mow a couple yards with it, of course. And then it's going to be cool. We're going to have to take the 36 right and the 36 Toro sometime and kind of put them head to head. Uh, have one mow the front yard, one mow the backyard and see which cut looks better. I'm honestly leaning towards the Toro, I think it will, because my Toro Titan Max back there uh, cuts a lot better, cuts, cuts Bermuda a lot finer than the, than the rights. So we're not abandoning the rights, guys. We're still having them. We're just going to be switching off the 36 or whatever we feel like doing that day. We'll just have to see. You guys all have a great and blessed weekend, like I said, Easter weekend. So hopefully you guys all enjoy uh, spending time with your families and some Easter egg hunts going on. I'm going to do an Easter egg hunt. I don't care. I'll, if my family does one, I'm going. I'm getting some Easter eggs with some candy, man. Hopefully you guys all have a great weekend, and we will see you guys next week. Peace out.